Samsung Electronics projected its operating profit to reach 10.7 billion U.S. dollars in the third quarter of this year, hitting a two-year high. The earnings surprise is all the more notable given the COVID-19 pandemic. For more on this, we turn to our Lee Kyung Min from the Korea Times, who is on the line for us. Good morning, Kyung Min. Can you tell us more about that? Of course. So, in its preliminary earnings report for the July-September period, uh, released last Thursday. Samsung said its operating profit was estimated to have jumped 58.1 percent to 10.7 billion dollars from a year earlier, uh, which is the highest quarterly figure since the third quarter of 2018. The firm's revenue was expected to record a 6 percent year-on-year increase to 66 trillion won. Uh, which is about fifty uh, billion dollars, and this, as you mentioned, is a notable feat considering the pandemic, and is a figure well above the market consensus. So, Kelman, do you, uh, to which factors can we attribute the outstanding performance? Well, the firm's strong performance is primarily attributable to its better-than-expected sales of the new Galaxy lineup as well as soaring demand for electronic goods amid the growing pandemic-induced stay-at-home trend. The pandemic also helped the firm as it was able to reduce marketing costs needed for retail shops following an increase in sales made via online uh, content. Uh, uh, also, its uh, semiconductor business reported a solid earnings bolstered by U.S. sanctions on Huawei, one of its largest customers and its global competitor. Uh, Huawei bought a large number of chips in mid-August before the U.S. export restrictions took effect on September 15th, resulting in a sales growth of a 4% for its DRAM and 13% for NAND flash. And with the latest accomplishment, what possible growth opportunities and risks lie ahead for Samsung? Uh, market analysts say Samsung will enjoy a 5G network business expansion as it, at least 14 countries are currently reassessing or reviewing their reliance on Huawei's radio access network, or RAN. Uh, given Huawei's weakness include its inability to access key technology in foreign markets, Samsung can thrive as long as it secures the supply chain, which seems quite viable. The firm's 5G business has little exposure to China, the center of the global value chain, and its production disruption risk is well diversified all across Korea, Vietnam, and the U.S. And the expansion's success will hinge largely on which firms it chooses as 5G equipment suppliers, which is a decision the industry watchers say uh, requires a judgment call. Now let's turn to um, Samsung Electronics' major local competitor. Did LG Electronics report solid third quarter earnings as well? Right. Uh, LG Electronics projected its operating profit would come to $832 million, which is a uh, figure that is up 22.7% from a year earlier. And its sales came to $14.6 billion uh, in the same period, which is up 7.8% year on year. Both the operating profit and sales reported the highest quarterly figures to date. And the firm, like Samsung, saw robust sales of its home appliances and TVs thanks to the pandemic-induced growing stay-at-home trend. Thank you. That was Lee Kyung-min from the Korea Times reporting for us. Thank you.